Good afternoon, everybody. It's nice to do this in my hometown. I've been living in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina for almost 20 years now. So, um, Istio, let's uh, do a quick show hand. How many of you are already using microservice or on the journey to convert your monolithic application to be microservice-based application? Wow, that's a lot of you. So it's about 50 or maybe 40% of you. So even though a lower number have used Istio, uh, but you guys are definitely looking at microservices. This is a picture we took uh, in San Francisco for our favorite island, uh, Arctrise Island. And we saw the Istio boat there, so we were like, we have to take that picture. Um, so what is Istio? Istio is an open service mesh platform to connect, observe, secure, and control your microservices. And what's really neat about Istio, it's an open platform, first of all. It was a project funded by IBM, Google, and Lyft in May last year. And the community has grown into 200 plus contributors. Uh, and it's a really surviving community. Red Hat is a big contributor of it, Cisco, VMware, and all the other big companies, and even a couple of startups, too. The service mesh framework is meant to be transparent to your microservices that you don't really have to make much code change to work with your microservices. It's supposed to be language independent, so you don't have to uh, do the things uh, differently for different languages. So, so how many of you are writing in more than one languages, or your team are writing in more than one languages? Okay, so that's a lot of you. So your team is probably having many languages, and some of the common problems to how do you connect and observe and secure and control your microservices, I bet you don't want to solve them in language dependent way in your application. So Istio is there to help you. It's a network for services, not for bytes, to abstract uh, that code you need to have in your application, but have the platform provide that code for you. Um, one thing I want to share is Istio is highly configurable, so you can run Istio even without the Envoy sidecar. So many of you heard of Istio. Envoy sidecar has been a key component that runs along with your microservices. But within Istio, if you have a leaf service that's not talking to any of the other services, you actually don't need your Envoy sidecar uh, with your services, and you still get a bunch of functionality provided by Istio, such as traffic management, uh, traffic steering, traffic shifting, and fault injection, and all that. Um, you can also run Istio with your existing ingress uh, resource, so ingress resource controller. So if you prefer Nginx, you can always start with that. There's no problem with that. You can uh, run Envoy sidecar on your services, still get a uh, benefit of the mesh. Um, one thing I have to highlight, uh, we do say it's very, very, very minimum code changes to your services. In order for you to get distribute tracing to work properly, to tie every single uh, trace together into a single request for multiple your services, you do have to propagate your headers uh, for distribute tracing. And in addition to that, it still supports dark launching, canary testing. And for dark launching, we do require you, your application that, that's uh, to your services kind of a pro propagate the headers for you. In this example, we'll propagate the, uh, the, user, uh, the user header. Uh, so these are the partners uh, that help us grow the Istio community, and there's a lot of customers already using Istio in production environment. Uh, some of the big names are eBay, and uh, uh, IBM is also using the weather company, been using Trulio. You, probably, you guys probably heard of it. It's a real estate company. So a lot of companies are using Istio in their microservice journey. So I would highly encourage you to try Istio today, and there are some resources you can reach out to us on the mailing list for any questions you have. Thank you.